We have a now, we have an apple, a fish, and a toucan. I don't think we have a theme going. We just we just have some stuff. Special super secret room. Yeah, yeah, it's my office, I call it. <laughs> That's an eggplant. Yeah, That's it's glass. Eggplant. These are really good. The, yeah. If you get a whole set of them, they can be really good. This is I'm, old right here. This piece is um, a very antique piece. It looks like the oh, tail. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's have, been repaired. Yeah, repaired, but this is really old. That's a nice piece. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm interested in him. He's super cute. Yeah. Let me know how much he is. All right. All right. I'll be shopping for a while. Sure. So. Okay, that was fun. I might have found a turtle. So these are the Black Friday special 50% off shelves here. So let's see what we got. Some very cute little snowmen. I might have to have these for myself because I kind of got a thing for snowmen. Are they really? It would only be two dollars for the set. I'm going to get the snowman for two dollars for me. That's a very pretty gravy boat. By, oh, it's a Homer Lachlan. It's only two dollars, so I think we're going to get that. Oh. I now know this is um, for garlic. Yep, a grater plater. Yep, for the garlic. Let's see what else is back here. That's all kind of attached together. I don't quite understand that. This is. Oh, she has been. Has she been repaired? Yeah, her whole waist. And she's been repaired well. Actually, I can ask somebody. Look at this little guy. How cute is he? He would only be two bucks, so we'll get him. He's a cute little toothpick. <laughs> That he has occupied Japan. So he would be seven dollars. Oh, remember when everybody did this? Nobody does this anymore. This is a very old little baby shoe. eggs in the little basket. I don't see a price, but I'm sure it will be good. So. Wow, so there's a whole bunch of these little tea light holders. I see singles all the time. Look up top. Lots of clear glass. It's an interesting cakey, but it has been glued back together there. But I see something behind it. It's this little guy. Kind of a neat little piece. This looks like a Fiesta piece. Now it doesn't, it's not marked Fiesta, but it, it's absolutely that, that disc 
I think I will pick that up for five dollars because it is half price. So we'll get that. All right, what do we have up here? These are, these are interesting. These have a really neat look to them. Unfortunately, this one does have a little bit. Actually, it's manufacturer bubble under there. It's not actually damaged. They're actually much lighter than they look. Which tells me they're not, probably not old. Bubbles in this one, but this is not Murano bubbles when we talk about that. Anything back there I'm missing? I don't think so. Now we're on the other side. Now I'm going to be aware of that. I wear a little backpack. It's on, it's on my back, and these, this space is a little bit narrow through here so I have to be sure I don't turn really quick and knock stuff out. Let's see. It's back here. Let's see something. This looks like oh yeah this is a piece of Bristol glass. I think it probably would have had a stopper at some point. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah I'm pretty sure it did. Tiffany style night light. Tiffany style night light does not have a price on it. It's got a little bit of damage. So. Really good, you know, if somebody wants that for their bathroom or something. In fact, I'm really tempted to just get it for me because this would put off some really pretty light. So I think I'm going to get that. Oh, this one is after. It's got a design on it. Oh, it's got the MGM Lion. That might have some value. For two bucks, I'm going to pick that up because that's the MGM Lion and that looks like it might be glowy glass. So we'll check that out. Oh, look at these sweet My cousin sent me a recipe. Oh, they're plastic. They're plastic. I found these down on a bottom shelf. They would be half price, so they would be $2 each. And they just have a really nice vintage kitschy appeal to them. So we're going to pick those up too. I saw this picture from the other side and it is pretty. Let me see if I can get to it a little better here. Gotta move, gotta move the ship. Gotta move the little jar. So let's pull this out. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't I think that's what I thought it was. I thought it was Mexican pottery, but it's not. It is Dana Sullen, and it's a more contemporary piece. I thought maybe it was Italian or, or, or Mexican pottery, but it is not. Let's pan over to this side. What do we got over here? This is kind of a neat old piece of milk glass. I mean, this is real old. It's got a crack here, but what I want to point out is the translucence. You see how it's not like this. This is regular like 1950s melt glass. And then you look at this. See the difference in kind of the, the translucent look to it. And if you hold this up to the light, you can see through the edges a little more. So this is some pretty old melt glass. And I think I will pick this up because it really goes with my daughter's decor and she won't mind. We can just turn it around backwards. Um, I wouldn't be able to resell it because of the damage, but I can definitely give that to Jordan. All right, I gotta put my candle holder down for a second because I want to look at this girl here. She looks kind of like a Florence Originals, but I think she's just a hobbyist piece. And there's a little box here. Rachel does not need any more. She doesn't need any more. No more animals. 
These are cool. Eight dollars for the set. Now these these are vintage. I think we will pick those up because those are those are those are nice. I don't know who done them, but we're gonna figure it out. Just a quick peek. Is there anything else I need to go put in my pile? I don't think so. Linda, those are those are kind of groovy too, huh? Here, let me put these down. And then let's look. Ooh, they're heavy. Ah, oh, they came from TJ Maxx. Hmm. They're contemporary. Made to look groovy old. But they're not. Alright, we got some sets of dishes up here. Come down here and see this guy. How cute are you? And he would only be one dollar. So he's going home with me. And then this is a St. Nicholas Square box. And he would be four fifty. But he's awful cute. So I think we'll pick him up too. Alright, what do you think? Oh, I see some cute plates down here. It's little barn plates. They are international table works. Susan Wayne, 1994. And there is a pair of them. And again, they're not price, but I'm sure we can get a good price on them, and I like these a whole lot. Alright, we're finding some really cute stuff in here. I think these are plastic. They are. Those are plastic. Actually, we've been breaking all of our glass. Maybe I should get some plastic. Rachel would like those. I think I'm going to pick those up because we keep breaking all our glass. I'm going to get those. But then I spot this. Now that's attached to them. Let's look on the bottom here and see. There's no maple mark. It's definitely very, very, very vintage looking, huh? It would be eight dollars at half price. I'm gonna think about that one. So I kinda like it. This rack looks interesting. It's really nice with the the bird on it. What's all on the bottom of here? Looks like this was a hobbyist piece. It was made for someone in 2000. I can believe the year 2000 was 20 years ago. Look at that big apple. I'm kind of digging that. I don't know. It's just a big giant kitschy apple for three dollars because it's half price. I think I have to have the apple. Okay. I'll put the apple over here. Let's see what else we can find. It looks like they have sold some things off of the shelf. Ooh, I see a very, very fun fish back here. He is chalkware. Wow, is he colorful. Oh, and he is a Tanala, so he would be $8. We will pick him up, too. Let's put him on the chair with the apple. An apple and a fish. There we go. Doesn't get any better than that. Well, maybe it does, because I see a toucan. I see a toucan. He would have sat on like a perch something. Just make sure he's not broken anywhere. I don't think so. It's just a nice looking toucan. So we have a now, we have an apple, a fish, and a toucan. I don't think we have a theme going. We just we just have some stuff. Right. Little lusterware. This is actually a really nice little set by Noritake. See there on the bottom. Don't really need any more of that, but you know who does like teacups right now? And that would be Jordan, and these are matching, and they're the right colors for her kitchen, so we are going to pick 
clothes up too. But don't tell Jordan. She doesn't watch my videos, so she won't see this unless somebody tells her. So don't tell her. That's her Christmas present. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Christmas shopping in a thrift store. In fact, I highly recommend it. You can find some great stuff. Okay, I'm going to take my new treasures up to the front. What have we got there? Put the jewelry back here. Let's see if anything jumps out at us. Hopefully not literally. Ooh, look at it. It's little, my little rhinestone disco balls. You know how I like those. Very nice way to display jewelry. This makes it so shoppable. Quite pleasant. That one's kind of pretty. Eight dollars. Hmm. Let's just look over here while it's not too crowded. It's like the crowds keep coming in. Oh, this is... This is Coins Company. I have some candlesticks by Coins. It's a David Frickman. And it is $20. That actually is probably a really good price. And I should grab that. Okay. Let me go see what else I can find. Look how cute that is. That is a real window and then they painted a scene which looks like a little little mad doggy trying to get in. <laughs> it's like, let me in. Those are These are little little planter guys. Those are good. There's a pair of them. Ten bucks each. Super cute. There's some more. I really like those. Oh, those are quite heavy. They say... I see T-A... Or F-A... T something, T A T something. I can't read it. This actually is a really good brand. Sold some of his stuff before. Really cute. Oh, this. I definitely would not want to ship this, but um, that is a nice looking platter for ten dollars. Definitely serve a nice turkey on that. And then I noticed this one is actually um, like a melamine, but it's got a fox on it. I really like this one, and it's only two dollars. So this one, that one's gonna go home with me. And these are chicken. Bamboo serving board. Huh. For four dollars. I'm just thinking Rachel could paint that. But I don't know. That's a big project. She's got enough projects right now. So we won't do that. Okay. Okay, what's on these goodie shelves? Let's look through the jewelry. Oh, it's a cute little iridescent teapot little guy. Kiori, made in China. He is really cute. And as always, if you guys see something that I didn't pick up, this place is close enough, I could come back here. So just let me know in the comments if you're like, oh man, I wish you would have gotten that. And uh, I mean, if it's something that you want to buy, not just something that you think I should have put in my store. These are Royal Albert. Those are really nice. I like those. 
I like the little, the underplate is not the same, but it, it makes a really nice set doing it that way. Oh, well, this one, this one looks closer to the, the same pattern. Let's see what this one is. It's from Irma. So this was like a hobbyist piece from probably like the 1930s, 40s, I'm going to say. Maybe even a little older. I'm getting that vibe though. Oh man, that is a that's a big pot right there. All right, I'm gonna look through the artwork a little bit here. I may turn the camera off to do that because it's a little hard to maneuver with the camera in my hand, but I want to show you a little bit. What's back behind here? They get some really nice donations here. Let's peek back here. All right, I'll be back. I didn't find anything I can't live without in the art, but then I turn around and I spot this. And I don't even know what you would call this except a little decoration, but he's only two dollars. He's got a pig weather vane. So we're going to get that. Oh, there's a nice old, uh, nice old butter churn, but it's missing the crank here, unfortunately, but it's got the paddles inside. And these things are always really cool. Let's see. I, it's sometimes hard for me to tell if they're old or they're newer ones. The, the, the weave on these feels newer, but they may have just put that around older um, fishing fishing bobs, I guess they call those. Oh, here's the price. And it's $16 for the set. That's actually a really good price. Oh, yeah, that's an easy fix. That's an that's easy, easy fix. I wouldn't have pricer. Okay. I mean, even though I'd love to buy her, but <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna have Pricer, I'll take her. She's been here. Okay. She does a little YouTube video. I didn't know that. That's cool. okay. You guys, tell me, how do I glue the cameo back into the fitting? Well, I. Because you guys are the ex. Okay, look at these like pins. Oh my goodness! Look at the giraffes. Oh. What's the pricing on these guys? They're um, six dollars. Six dollars each. I do like those. There's so many cool different Oh, things. look at this one. I know. Different. Very different. Oh, look at this one. The panda. I, I think I need him. Look at the panda. Isn't he cute? Oh, he is cute. With his little rhinestones. Just different. Yeah. Got a mark on him. Look at this oh, butterfly. A mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, he is cool. There's quite a few giraffes. Yeah, there are. Oh my goodness, somebody. I did the whole April the giraffe stay up every night watching that stupid live stream until she finally popped. Really? Yes. I even bought the t-shirt. Oh, yeah, after that. You were part of. That was so funny, though, because... I don't think they ever expected it to turn out that way. They got some good marketing out of that. Aww. Yeah, they did. That's another thing. That's another really cute one. All right, we're going to get that one. Yeah, those are cool. Oh, this is Noah. Yeah, it's Noah's art. Careful because that pin's open. This is my favorite. I don't know why I don't buy it. Isn't it cute? You should else? buy it if it's your favorite. No, but I'd never wear what? it. Yes, you would. You oh, would. You totally would. I've got so many pens of my mom's that I never I put them on. You know, my first instinct is that this cat was wearing a diaper, but I see that's more of like just uh, holding him up kind of a thing. This is a whale. I know. That's what I said. It's so cute. Oh, it's like so cute. cute. This is called a trembler. That's from like in the 20s. They did the jelly that trembled. This one. Oh my gosh, that See? is really cool. They used it in the 20s. They made they had a lot of Art Deco in it, and it trembles. Ah. Oh. It's called a trembler. Yeah. How cool, cool huh? is that? I know. What is that? Are those shoes covers? Yeah. They could be elf booties, he said. Right? <laughs> from 
Okay. Oh, it's, it's, Just because you told me the story, I'm going to buy that one. There you go. Put my hand down. Almost another giraffe. Yeah, that's a, a different one. This one was made in Italy, this giraffe. Was it? Mm -hmm. First, I thought it was just plastic, but it's oh. It's Italian, and, and it's, wow. its eyes hand-painted. Look at that one. It's beautiful. See, made in Italy. Okay, we'll get that one, too. <laughs> yeah, she's just she's just selling me the pins. Yeah, she, yeah. Knows, she knows her stuff. I get some really nice jewelry here. I picked out a nice little selection. These are going home with me. All of these. Some unique ones. Of course, I think I got all animals except for the flowers. So those are mine. Get the outside here. This is where I'm going. Dog, you just look for that big chartreuse green building. And they usually have some good racks of stuff up here. I did add on a few pieces of clothes into my little goodie stash, but they're for me. So, there we go. 